what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Come check out this thing. Welcome to welcome Angie Davis to the site. She's been adding her her videos, her pictures to the site. David Gannett's on there lately putting stuff up. Brian Hopkins, all sorts of people are adding uh, their pictures, their their news links, everything to the website. So go check it out at whatsupinthesky.com. And this was sent to me this morning from my friend Desi. She sends me little videos of her. Uh, basically, she puts her iPhone up to the screen and shows me what she wants to and just talks to me. She's from the Netherlands. She's a really awesome lady. Um, she said this sand, something's weird about this sand pile down here. And I thought the exact same thing when I started looking at it and when she showed it to me. Now, this is a nav cam shot, so there's not great, 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 uh, clarity in these here's how it came I've actually pumped it up a little bit see I just gave it a little bit of sharp and not too much here but what I'm really interested in is just this area right here right in front of the rover not too far off and here's the original how it comes from NASA and that's just me I've just basically just sharpened it up just a tad and what we're looking at is this whole piece right here something just does not seem right about it um, and when I say that is because it looks like these rover has come put tracks in it somehow it's put tracks in it um, and instead of you know pushing the sand down, what it's looked to, it's done here is like the sand's hollowed out. I mean, wait, let's just pump up the uh, let's pump up the brightness and the contrast. See if we can't pull this out some. And here you've got the uh, what looks like the Curiosity rover wheel, like the cor maybe the corner of it. They're uh, fairly big, uh, big wheels. You know, they're you know, sitting in front of me. They're they're pretty big. I actually saw a life size rover, like a, a when I was over at the Air and Space Museum down in D.C. just recently, um, I saw one down there. So, And what was interesting about this over here is see how this stuff kind of starts coming out here. Now, and either this is an imprint from the actual rover itself. Like, let's just say uh, these are either rocks buried under there or it's an imprint from the rover itself that made this happen. Look at how these have kind of, it looks a lot wetter than they're telling me. This does not look like 2% soil. Either something's broke this sand and, it, and it's either hollow under, like on the underside of it, or I, I want you guys to comment on this one and let me know what you guys are thinking because this one's got me boggled. It's got my mind going because here it looks like a total terror. Look, I'm, I'm jumping the brightness all the way up. And it's just dark, dark void right there. Let me put the contrast down even more. Here, you can see that it's got, uh, you know, little pieces in there. And that could just be, you know, part of what's under the sand. Um, here, the rover tracks continue. Very, you said, this is probably the size of the whole wheel here. As it came in, it, it just kind of nudged its tires around them. It, that's what it looks like. It's strange, though, that it didn't affect anything else. You know, if you look over here, you can kind of see the corner rolling up to it. Um, here, you can see it looks like it got the corner, but it didn't get the whole piece. You don't see anything really too much scuffed down here. As it turned out, you don't see too much here. Um, just very it, very odd to me. Like I said, let me put it back to what it looks like. This is how it comes. And this is directly from NASA. So like I said, all I did was sharpen up. You don't, the dark part's still there. It's like, what's this little piece here? And, and really the only good thing, these nav cams are not good for quality, quality pictures. But this is so close that, you know, you're going to get a decent enough picture to see here. Um, let me just do something. Let me do adjustments, um, image adjustments just do an invert real fast just to take a quick look at it um, sometimes when you do the invert you can see totally there like I didn't even notice this piece right here that looks like it's uh, you know, twisted up right there like a piece of metal or slag or something that that's just sitting there and this is like I said the dark part of the rover just came up in there very odd let's hit that back see what that looks like again um, oops, edit forward, edit forward. So, and also she said, Debbie, she's our uh, Desi. She said out here was pretty interesting here to me. I find that this little piece right here is kind of interesting. See how it's got a, uh, from the center of it, it almost looks like it's coming straight out here with some, some line, whatever the line is in the sand there. It looks like it could be a chain or something under there, but that's, that's kind of making it, taking it a little stretch. But as you can see here, it's kind of got the corner that comes up. It looks kind of thin. Um, but what kind of sand is this? What what 
mashes down like that and doesn't push over the sand. I mean, look at the sand right here. It almost looks like a cloth or something that's been not like ripped, but maybe like, okay, they got these guys that come down to Ocean City, Maryland, where I am, and uh, they basically, they do up this really religious sand art, and they spray the sand with this stuff that turns it in. It's like glue and water, basically, that turns it really, really hard. Now, under it is not hollow. Like I said, this almost looks like it's hollow under there for some reason. Um, but it kind of makes it that hard. It looks like this, you know, when it snapped off, this piece just fell down. Everything snapped right off of it. It came down. Um, the rover track, I mean, what do you guys even think these are the rover tracks? I mean, they look, they seem to look like rover tracks to me because I've seen that piece right there in the, in that part of the wheel. You know, it's got that diagonal zigzag track, but it's, uh, I think this is just a very, it's a lot smaller than what, uh, I first originally thought it was, but either way, I thought that was pretty interesting. Desi, thanks for sending that over. There's also a couple other things out here I want to show you guys just real quick. Here, there's just a strange circle here. See that thing, how it's just kind of sitting there? And with the black and white, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes what exactly it is or, you know, to get, um, to get a good perspective on it. But this little piece here, she thought was interesting. And I th it, there was some interesting stuff going on out here. I did some adjustments to it. Uh, where was the one piece? Let's see. Equalize. Tried to equalize it earlier. See how it's just kind of... And they say, this is by no means going to give us the picture like the, uh, you know, the nav cam does, not the nav cam, like the mass cam does with the better quality, which gives us all those nice blurry shots we've been getting back lately. But now this would look like the perfect little habitat for maybe some little small guys if they were there. Um, who knows? Like I said, I've seen so much now from these pictures coming back lately. I don't know what to think. Is this actually Mars? Is this, you know, is this somewhere on Earth? It could easily be. We could all be getting duped. I don't think that's the answer. I do think they're coming back from Mars. Um, but who's to trust now, you know? And I could get into up here because up here it looks like there's little hollow pieces and stuff like that. But just like I said, the quality of these are so bad, it's just so hard to, to really get anything from it that's going to be discernible. Like, it looked like there's a couple faces here, but, you know, our eyes matrix them a lot. But also look like some, look at that here, just some... some like letters and shapes and stuff like that. We see these in everything um, that we find. Now check check out here. It looks like there's actual tracks under this piece. How it goes down in a perfect. I say perfect too much. And sometimes I say it when I shouldn't. Like perfect line or perfect circles, and they're not exactly perfect. So I do need to watch that just to keep myself just to keep myself honest here. Um, but they do look like they're coming straight out from it and they just go on like maybe this was part of a track and you even look over here too You can still kind of see it extending like the one two three four You know one two three four Maybe this was a station at one time I tell you what the more and more I see the area here from below Mount Sharp I do believe it was a military base of some time I've so many people have come here and said that this was we're sitting there looking at a military base um, and that's why we came here, because we wanted to see the artifacts here. And this is why we blew by everything to get to this. The, the object was get to the lower part of the mountain to, to take a look around and see what was there. And uh, <laughs> some amazing stuff coming back. I've got two more Mars videos to make that I wanted to make before I get really into my water video. And also a couple other uh, couple other ones that I just... I'd like to, if you go get the new saws, you can make 100 videos or you can make these things all day long. Everything, out, there's so much stuff out of place. Um, looks like fossils, just things like that, that I think you guys are going to be amazed. Things that even the rover's checking out. Uh, look at this little guy. Now, if this was the smaller part of it, this would maybe be about the size of one of their skulls. So we're thinking, like I said, because he's got, a lot of people say that they're like six inches tall. And uh, that would really open up. A lot of what we see sometimes where stuff looks very intricate in a very little area. Um, and you see these th things that look like they could be little baby carvings. But what kind of sand is that, guys? Tell me, have you ever seen sand cut out like that and make a track that went along those lines? Let me just pump this up one more time for you with the... Uh, let me just do the exposure and just kind of push it up so you can see it. Um, here we go. We'll come down slowly together here. And what really interests me is see how that squiggly stuff and it comes across and it just looks like it just dropped down. So whatever came across here, it just dropped that stuff straight down. And unless that was on top, because you don't see any more of that, what looks like wiring or something. And 
see how it didn't come all the way down here so how's it just that piece i don't know guys i need subscribers let me know what you guys think this is this is the time i need you guys so let let desi know what you think much love to you uh gonna do some more space news too about the rocket all sorts of stuff going on uh you know that was pretty wild here just to have that go down the other day. I ended up getting a lot of hits, like 30,000 hits on that video that day. It really set my channel. And it brought in a lot of new subscribers who probably are going to see these videos and get scared. But, guys, this is what we do here. I do Mars anomalies, moon anomalies. Check out the old videos. Some of the best videos I've done was my first 100. So, all right, guys, much love to you. Ten minutes in. This was going to be a two-minute video, but you know how I do it. I love to hear myself talk, as uh, the uh, trolls say. So, <laughs> peace.